folks. I'm glad you're here. Thank you very much for joining me. It is Monday, November 4th, 2024. There was a moderate to small earthquake near Anza, California, a magnitude 3.3. This was along the uh, San Jacinto fault zone. And there's been 54 earthquakes within the last week in this location. More recently, down here close to the Salton Sea, a 0.9 and a 1.5. The 0.9 was 8 miles in depth, and the 1.5 was 5 miles in depth. Now, this recent earthquake, the 3.3, was 7.5 miles in depth. To the north here, we have the San Andreas Fault Zone. But the San Jacinto Fault Zone is a major strike-slip fault zone that runs through San Bernardino, Riverside, San Diego, and the Imperial Counties in Southern California. The San Jacinto Fault Zone is a component of the larger San Andreas Transform Fault System and is considered to be the most seismically active fault zone in the area. Together, the San Andreas Fault Zone and the San Jacinto Fault Zone uh, relieve the majority of the stress between the Pacific and the North American tectonic plates. I've talked about how the plates are on the move as our magnetic field gets weaker and weaker and ancient fault zones are becoming reactivated. Any earthquake has a 10% chance of being a foreshock for something much larger. Here's an image of the San Andreas Fault Zone and the component different sections of the San Jacinto Fault Zone that have been divided up. We got the uh, Claremont location of the San Jacinto, Clark Casa Loma. That's probably one of the longer sections of the San Jacinto and it's had, had um, some major earthquakes in the past. Then we got the Coyote, Coyote Creek and recently they added in uh, the Superstition Hills um, to that fault zone. I don't know if you can hear it but we got a whole bunch of ducks or geese flying south over head of the house here. It's getting a little bit fainter but they were pretty loud. Now the Clark Casa Loma fault zone runs from the Paris uh, reservoir all the way down towards the uh, Salton Sea. Here we have Google Earth and this is the location of that 3.3 earthquake San Jacinto fault zone. I don't have the other fault zones drawn out because they just run parallel with the San Jacinto fault zone. So here we have San Jacinto Valley and up over here right there I've talked about this area Um, this is the Paris Reservoir this is an area of spreading also in 1899 there was a magnitude 6.7 in this location and we'll come down and out a little bit in 1937 there was a magnitude 6.0 and in 1951 a 6.4 and then in 1968 a 6.5 let's see and then we got another one 1987 6.5 so this area is capable of having you know magnitude 6.5s or greater more than likely and we'll go to the felt reports 22 people said they did feel this earthquake USGS gave it an intensity level of 5. Looks like the strongest is uh, right there in the Valley of Anza. Uh, one report, intensity level 4. Then we got Warmer, War, Warner Springs, intensity level 2. Mountain Center, 3. Hemet, 2. Um, Menfrey, Menfrey, intensity level 3. Hemet intensity 2 Indy wild intensity level 3 looks like most of the energy the felt reports were to the northeast Palm Desert intensity level 3 another one from there and 
two more from there. As I said, most of the stronger reports were to the northeast, and it looks like the fault did move towards the northeast. First wave of the earthquake came from the south. They're saying that tension is going to be applied going west. So, indications, yeah, we got several more earthquakes, but if it does continue its movement going west, yeah, we got uh, Hemet. Let's see. Maybe Riverside. What happened probably down here is when this earthquake occurred, it relieved uh, a bit of the, the pressure. So these other smaller faults, earthquakes I should say, um, are ruptured, ruptured. But yeah, I think it's going to continue traveling north along the fault zone. So are you prepared for a large earthquake? Uh, people just take these earthquakes for granted. Many are probably not prepared even today. Did you feel this earthquake? How long did it last? The 3.3 uh, was at 3.20 a.m. local time. Let's see, the 0 0.9 would have been at 7.25 a.m. The 1.5 would have been at 6.47 a.m. Yeah. So what are your thoughts? Put your comments down below. Please subscribe. Please like and share. YouTube is continuing the censoring. There's been close to 100 people that they have unsubscribed from my channel within the last couple days. Hope you're not one of them. They do that to a, a lot of different channels. Unsubscribe people from people that they do follow and share. So I'll talk to you later. God bless you all. Be safe.